Hi everyone, I would like to share with you an experiment which is relative to the devices mentioned from Bashar. What you can see here is the flash matrix. This is a capacitor in a sense which is designed to work with high frequency and to rectify high frequency into DC current. And um, Bashar described that they use this device in the core of the, their spaceship made out of gold and quartz crystals. Now, right now, we don't have any input which is running here, okay? We do not have directly connected any input on this device. You can see the top rod. Here you can see the rod on the bottom. There is nothing attached. There is nothing attached also on the surface of the spheres or the hemispheres. Uh, the only thing that is attached here, we have two capacitors. There are 50 volts capacitors, 100 microfarads. Okay, this capacitor is um, positive on top, this is negative, negative on top, so they are in alternating predominance. And to the left of each capacitor, we have fast diodes in order to serve like rectifiers. Okay, now we have attached also here the DMM and this device that will measure the voltage. Okay, and right now it's measuring 12 volts. The LED that you can see. You, you see it's rated for 5 watts, 12 volts. Now, how do we power, why this LED is actually working? How do we power this LED? It's what I would like to discuss in this video. The other wire you can see here, it's a ground wire. And it's a single wire which is going inside here. And you can see that only the ground pin um, it's present. The other two, positive and negative, are disconnected. Um, so this ground is going inside and even this um, extension cord is not working. It's off. I can even... It's off and it's going and it's connected to this extension cord which I can open from here. Okay, so I can switch on and off from here, this extension, and I can do it from here. You can see now it's on, and now it's off. It does not affect, uh, it doesn't matter if it's on and off, because we are using just the ground pin. So I can disconnect it from there, I can disconnect it from here also, and we still have 12 volts output DC. Now. We can measure the current. In order to do this, we need to disconnect uh, one of the leads from the LED and both from the DMM and change this to amperes. Change this here, this pin. And so now we can measure the current. And we're going to connect it in series. Um, I'm shooting the video with one hand. I'm going to connect to this in series and see how much current we have. We can see that LED is a little bit brighter. And now we have about 600 milliamps. If you multiply this 600 milliamps by 12 volts, you're going to have approximately, um, I believe, about 7.2 watts of output, DC output. Now, what is interesting in this video, why I'm shooting actually this video, it's to share with you that this actually power uh, from where it comes. It comes from the antenna which is on my veranda. And this is the space time antenna mentioned from the Shar. It's made out of copper, have three iteration of spheres, uh, star tetrahedron, Sierpinski, gasket, Merkaba in the center. And right now I would like to share with you what the Merkaba is receiving uh, as power. Now we have this um, this is a signal generator which is generating 3 volts from peak to peak. Okay, this is a square wave and it's 12.5 megahertz. 12.5 million times per second it's oscillating up and down. Alright, that is very low power. So we're taking this signal, we are putting it here through this wire in this amplifier and the amplifier is amplifying it to about 5 watts. The rating of this amplifier 
it's that can amplify the signal maximum 5 watts to do this amplification this uh, device well, amplifier needs DC uh, supply it needs DC current to work and you can see positive and negative is connected we are using this DC uh, bench power supply in order to power the device and to amplify the signal so when the signal is amplified it's going through this wire and it's entering this other device which is called antenna tuner so with the antenna tuner we can change the impedances of our signal uh, in order to match the impedance of the space-time antenna when the two impedances are matched or very close this allows for maximum power to come from the uh, from our input to the antenna and the antenna it won't reflect anything back so it will be very efficient it will absorb all the power and will um, use this power in order to transmit the signal okay if the impedances are different then the, a lot of this power is going to be reflected and not absorbed from our antenna so the tuner it's matching the impedances as much as possible right now it's showing that uh, the reflected power the, the power it's about 5 watts you can see between and 4 and and uh, 6 this is about 5 watts this is showing the VSWR this arrow a little bit less than 1 point uh, it's about 0 0.8 VSWR um, and the positive um, lead from our signal is connected to the outer shell of the antenna the negative is not connected to nowhere it's like a virtual ground in a sense so this is the space time antenna it's 1.3 meters the outer shell it's receiving this um, RF signal radio frequency signal it's vibrating right now with 12.5 million times per second and it's transferring the signal to this DC LED light to this device um, which is designed to work um, like electromagnetic inductions in a sense is something that happens in between or resonating coupling they coupled through resonance so all the power that we put there it's received from this smaller antenna which is 1.618 times smaller from the Merkaba which is inside the big antenna and it's receiving this power um, and it, convert, it converts it into DC the distance between this small um, flash matrix and the big space-time antenna it's exactly right now 3 meters okay so the distance is 3 meters um, and you can see we have about 600 milliamps with 12 volts about 7.2 watts power it's transferred wirelessly in a distance of 3 meters and simultaneously it's converted into a DC uh, output right now I would like to share something else if you uh, want me I can play with this frequency here okay and I'm changing and the resonant frequency but before that, I'd like to show you how I'm going to disconnect maybe uh, this input. It's very hard for me with one hand. <laughs> okay, so you see, I, I connect the di I disconnect the the input here of the space-time antenna, and the DC it's it's off. When I connect it back, it's on. Okay, so the signal, just to prove that the signal is coming from here. And if I change the resonant frequency, you can see that I increase now the frequency of 16, 16 million stars per second. And the LED, it's not so bright. If I decrease, again, 12.5 million times per second the LED it's very very bright so it's working um, through resonance and um, it's transferring the power with radio frequency but it converts it into a DC output in our case about 7 watts so this is 
uh, maybe everything. Probably you will have any questions. Uh, I have a lot of questions also that I need to answer. Um, but if you um, have something in mind and you want to ask, um, let me know.